Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. World leaders urge ceasefire after shelling started fire at nuclear power plant a euro. Live. Summary of headline article. 553 Guardian reporter. Luke Harding. Is currently in Lviv. Western Ukraine where he says demoralized Russian soldiers tell of their anger at being duped. Into war. Eight days after Vladimir Putin's invasion it is clear that a significant number of his servicemen are demoralized and reluctant to fight. But low morale among invading troops might be one reason why Russia's blitzkrieg plan to overwhelm Ukraine appears not to have progressed at the speed Putin would have wanted. Soldiers were given food and fuel supplies for only two or three days. The videos suggest the Kremlin also appears to have had a totally fantastical idea of the reception they would get from the Guardian under the main headline of war in Ukraine. What we know on day nine of the Russian invasion. Summary of headline article. Concern is mounting over the movements of a huge column of Russian military vehicles outside Kyiv. Russian forces were in control of local and regional government buildings in the strategically important Black Sea port of Kherson. Local authorities said Russian forces appeared to be moving to cut Ukraine off from the sea via its key southern ports, claiming the capture of Kherson and tightening the siege of Mariupol. The Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky accused Russia of nuclear terror. As British PM Boris Johnson said Putin's forces were reckless. The president went on to accuse Ukrainian forces of using civilians as human shields, but provided no evidence. From iNews under the main headline of Labour's Paulette Hamilton holds Birmingham Erdington seat in by-election. Despite low turnout. Summary of headline article. Ms. Hamilton won the former constituency of the late Jack Dromey with a marginally increased vote. Share for her party. Despite a low turnout, the result makes her the first black MP to represent a constituency in Birmingham. Mr. Dromey won in 2019 with a majority of 3,601. A 50.3% vote share but left-wing grassroots group Momentum, which backed former leader Jeremy Corbyn, expressed concern over the low turnout. The low turnout is, however, a cause for concern, she added. From Mail Online under the main headline of Family is cut down by tank fire on Country Lane. Summary of headline article. There was nothing in what President Putin told us that should reassure us. The expectation of the president is that the worst is to come. Given what President Putin told him, the official told reporters on condition of anonymity. There was nothing in what President Putin told us that should reassure us. President Putin has a way of talking that is very neutral and very clinical. In a videotaped address. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called on Ukrainians to keep up the resistance. From the sun under the main headline of Vladimir Putin's cronies have superyachts worth a £605 million seized by the West summary of headline article. Russian billionaire Alisha Usmanov was slapped on Britain's sanctions list last night as Vladimir. Putin's cronies had their beloved superyachts seized. There. They are free from U.S. extradition treaties as the West turns on the pressure over Putin's brutal invasion of Ukraine. Five luxury boats, worth £605 million and owned by some of Russia's richest and most powerful men, were yesterday sailing safely around the islands. Sechen. Chairman of Oil Group Rosneft.
was President Putin's deputy PM for four years and is considered a close confidant. Usmanov, dubbed one of Putin's favorite oligarchs, had his firm's commercial sponsorship arrangements with Everton suspended on Wednesday. From Daily Star under the main headline of Russian mobile crematoriums hide real death toll in Ukraine, says Zelensky. Summary of headline article. Russian troops are lugging mobile cremation chambers to the war in Ukraine in order to conceal the true death toll, claims Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. At a press conference with reporters in Kyiv he described the Russian forces as cannon fodder, adding, these guys are carrying those cremation chambers for themselves. Since the start of the invasion Ukrainian government forces now put the number of dead Russians at over 9,000. An American official told the New York Times on Thursday that the amount of Russian troops killed is more likely around 2,000 thus far. Intelligence estimated that roughly 150,000 Russian troops were gathered to support the invasion which has not been the swift success Putin had hoped. From Evening Standard under the main headline of BBC A Euro blocked in Russia Euro following Kremlin. Criticism. Summary of headline article. RUSSIA has reportedly restricted access to the BBC Russian service after the Kremlin accused the broadcaster of playing a determined role in undermining the Russian stability and security. It comes after BBC Russia said there had been reports of problems accessing its website in Russia. According to a tweet posted by BBC Russian in Russian and translated into English. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, also appeared to be blocked in the country. The series of tweets translated from Russian by the site's inbuilt Google Translator, stated, Block tracking services report that there are problems accessing the BBC Russian service website. In Russia, it comes after the Kremlin accused the BBC of playing a determined role in undermining the Russian stability and security. From Mail Online under the main headline of Hundreds of Mourners Gather at Vigil for Sarah Everard. Summary of headline article. Around 200 people gathered at a vigil to mark one year since Sarah Everard was abducted and murdered by marching to the Clapham Common Bandstand in South London to show solidarity. Pictured. Crowds gather at Ms. Everard's vigil in Clapham. South London yesterday, exactly 12 months on from when Ms. Everard first went missing. Hundreds marched through Clapham North to the Clapham Common Bandstand in South London. As organisers made speeches, demanding change. Yesterday afternoon the family of Ms. Everard paid tribute to her. Saying she was, wonderful, and that they, miss her all the time. Strut Safe founder Alice Jackson said the event has been planned as a coming together to mark a year since the passing of Sarah Everard. London Mayor Sadiq Khan also paid tribute to Ms. Everard and said he wanted every woman and girl to feel safe on the streets. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine Invasion. Pretty Patel to meet Ukrainians trying to reach UK amid calls to extend visas to all fleeing war zone. Summary of headline article. Pretty Patel will meet Ukrainians trying to flee to the UK as she faced calls to extend visas to all fleeing the war zone. The Home Secretary will be in Poland on Friday to launch the Ukraine family scheme to allow Britons and those settled in the UK to bring their relatives over to join them. Ms. Cooper said, Families fleeing conflict in Ukraine need urgent help right now to reach safety and get support. Meanwhile, the deputy PM also defended the UK government's sanction scheme, saying it was having a real impact.
we will continue to starve the finances that fund Putin's war machine and support the Ukrainians. In their courageous defense against this illegal invasion, he continued. From Mail Online under the main headline of Father Weeps Over Son's Body as Russian Troops Besiege. Mariupol. Summary of headline article. And today. Among the victims of the indiscriminate shelling was a teenage boy out playing football with his friends. 15-year-old Aliyah was playing football with two friends when they were hit by Russian shelling. All donations to the Male Ukraine Appeal will be distributed to charities and aid organizations providing such essential services. Britain Sean Pinner who previously served in the Royal Anglian Regiment, was today on the front line in Mariupol alongside Ukrainian soldiers. As darkness fell yesterday, authorities insisted Mariupol remained under Ukrainian control, but the city under siege looks unlikely to hold out much longer. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day and goodbye.